Tampa Bay Rays had solid veteran reliever Phil Madden to a one-year, $6.5 million deal. So Madden, he could be a setup man or even possibly challenge Fairbanks for the closer role entering this season. So last season for Madden, 4-3 and three record at 68 games pitched. A save, 66 innings, 74 strikeouts, a 3 ERA, and a 1.12 whip. So Madden right now, he goes right into that eighth inning role. For this Tampa Bay Ray team. Uh, surprising to me, he got a one-year deal and a pretty cost-effective deal as well, where even the Rays went out there and signed a free agent. Well, we know they're mostly homegrown and making deals to fill out their roster over the last few seasons. So Madden, in terms of fantasy baseball, is going to have no value unless, obviously, he takes that closer role from Fairbanks. And last season, we saw Fairbanks struggle a little bit towards the end of the season. And also, injuries were a problem for him on and off throughout the year. So Madden's definitely someone to keep in mind over the next few weeks, a month here before your fantasy draft happens in these fantasy weeks where he could be someone in the later rounds you take a flyer on and see if he could become the closer or if Fairbanks is 100% going into spring training in the regular season. So obviously if Matt wins the closer role, if it's a competition, even though I don't think it will be, it'll be Fairbanks going into the season. He'll be someone then you would target anywhere from the 12th to the 15th round being on a solid Tampa Bay Ray team is Phil Madden. But going into the year, I don't expect it, but just someone to keep on the radar and on notice. So Phil Madden signs a deal with the Tampa Bay Rays, and it looks like he'll be the seventh, eighth inning man going into the season, or possibly a chance to close if Fairbank gets injured or doesn't perform in season, entering the 2024 season.